everybody. Welcome into the Comic Den office. Hope you guys are excited. We got a pretty cool jam-packed video. Hope you guys can learn something from this. We're by no means professional, but we thought it'd be cool to show you a little bit of an inside look behind what we're selling on our online comic book shop and how we kind of organize everything. Hope you guys are excited. All right, everybody. So we had some time last weekend. We did a little organizing of the office, got some more shelves. By no means does it look perfect yet. We're still working on it, so don't judge too hard. But we wanted to show you guys around the office a little bit. We have a lot more inventory. Most of it is what we got from Joe's. I know you guys saw that video from the tent sale and then we've gotten some things here and there from conventions, but we are working on organizing and then we're gonna be listing on eBay, so make sure you guys stay tuned. But let's go ahead and get started and give you a little tour of the room. All right guys, over here is just our little desk area. So we have the desktop to look up all of our eBay sales, get our labels. Over here we have our printer. We're gonna be getting a Rolo shipping label printer very soon. So it makes it a lot easier instead of having to cut out and tape our labels, which is very time consuming. But this is just where our computer is. Next up we have our shipping area this is just a little table usually where we ship out all of our stuff super easy to pack on enough space we have our ring light here which is awesome for Instagram and YouTube super great if you guys don't have one get your hands on one of those and then up here is our the comics den banner so we plan on using this um, whenever we start doing shows or things like that but for now it's just some super cool wall decor all right this section over here of these short boxes is everything that is currently listed on the eBay so we categorized it by numbers and letters we're trying to condense it a little bit so that's why it's not in alphabetical order. Yeah, we do know our alphabet. So a lot of really cool stuff on our eBay if you guys want to check it out. Lots of Marvel, DC, a whole bunch of different titles. We also have some really cool Moon Knight comics that are for sale right now if anybody's interested. Really beautiful stuff. Every single comic that you guys see here was also picked up at a uh, either convention, some kind of sale, and they've all been recorded on video so all these books have been found out in the wild which i think is pretty cool kind of separates us from a lot of the other ebay sellers as you guys see we have a lot of defenders black cat we have series runs as you can see everything's nicely organized and bundled up we have some image comics some older dc and then we are going to show you guys a lot of our other inventory that we picked up some really really nice titles in here that are not yet listed but we're going to get around to it soon hopefully all right over here is all of our inventory that is not yet listed things from the tent sale things from conventions stuff we've just kind of acquired over the past few months but we have lots of awesome stuff in here we started separating all the boxes by titles so it's all pretty organized now this is all marvel inventory so next step is to go through all of our dc inventory and our independent inventory but here's just some titles for you guys give you a little sneak peek of what we got Lots of really cool stuff, as you guys can see. I got some Nom, we got Namor, Nomad in this. Inside of here, we got some 90s Spider-Man and Ultimate Spider-Man to give you guys an idea. We got a lot of Ultimate Spider-Man issues, some duplicates, of course. So we'll have more than one lot available. And we do have a lot of the 1990s Spider-Man run, Todd McFarlane art, gotta love it. Got some Nomad. I do have a couple issues of number one. There we go right there. And then behind it, we got some Namor, Namor issue one. These books I think are gonna go up in value a little bit as he appears in the MCU. She-Hulk, gotta love She-Hulk. This is the uh, beautiful, I think this is Greg Horn did the artwork on here. Issue six is very, nice we also have issue seven this is just a bunch of really cool marvel inventory here's some x factor some really early issues of x factor i have over here and this is a whole complete box of x factor over here we have some x force and some x-men classic you gotta love that x-men classic lots of duplicates and we're gonna show you guys some of the other cool stuff that we're gonna have for sale that will all be available on the ebay the link will be down below. Over here, we can see some Uncanny X-Men, lots of duplicates, but we do have some earlier issues. You guys saw the inventory that was already listed. 
has a lot of the uh, earlier issues of the Uncanny X-Men on the eBay already. So if you guys check out the store, you can see all that. There's a whole bunch of copies of this book I have. I got like five or six different copies of that. So some really cool stuff. As we come up above, you guys will see a lot of our inventory we use. I love using these regional rate A boxes. We got our bubble wrap and our bubble mailers coming on over. We got some really cool Batman and Superman toys up above watching over. That Superman toy is actually one of my oldest toys from my childhood. And Sarah found the Batman at a comic book convention that we went to for Coliseum of Comics. Love these white boxes. These brown boxes fit inside of these white boxes. So it gives you guys some nice double protection. Down below, we have some more of our packing material. And this wagon, guys. If you are in the comic business, you need a wagon. This was actually my mom's and she gave it to us, but we use it all the time for going to the post office, transferring big boxes. It's super awesome, super lightweight. You can just lift it up, put it somewhere, but it's awesome, super great. Moving on to the next shelf, we have some different titles. We have some Alpha Flight, Avengers, Captain America, Punisher and Fantastic Four. We're gonna go ahead and give you guys a little preview into those boxes. Got some really awesome stuff here. As you will see, there's lots of duplicates. So I got a couple copies of issue one of Alpha Flight. And then we're just gonna go down. This whole entire box is filled with Alpha Flight. Issue two, issue three, issue six, there's issue 15, issue 20, lots of really cool stuff. I have not listed any of this yet. By the time this video comes out, none of this will probably be listed either. This is just a quick little look into some of our inventory. Here's the Avengers. You guys will probably recognize that from Brian's haul we had. That's a pretty cool book right there, issue 204. We're just gonna come on down, show you guys some of the cool Avengers books. Not really sure how I'm gonna list a lot of this. When it comes to the Avengers, I don't have too many duplicates until we get down to some of these later issues over here. For the most part, like right there, I got duplicates. I think I'm gonna sell these as a, like one comic books or maybe like 10 in a lot, not too sure. Comment down below, let me know what you guys would do. Over here, we got some Captain America. America. Really cool Captain America comics. I got a whole bunch of them. Lots of duplicates on the Captain Americas also. There's issue 309. I got a couple of copies of 309. Nothing huge when it comes to keys. Yeah, inside Avengers, I do have the first, um, this is the first Nebula. There are some keys inside of here. I think inside of Alpha Flight, there's a couple nice ones. We're gonna work on over to the Punisher now. Over here, we got the Punisher box. This is all the regular Punisher series, the Unlimited series. Over here, we got some War Journal, some really cool covers on War Journal. We have Punisher 2099. I got a couple copies of 2099 issue one, along with a lot of the other run. And then we got some War Zone, really cool War Zone, some duplicates. There's some Daredevil coming on down. I have some of the, the um, new-ish run of Daredevil. Some more Daredevil. I think there's even some of the, uh, yeah, the Marvel Knights run in here which has kind of been heating up with uh yeah some of these uh marvel knights issues there's issue i think 25 24 right there i do have a nice excalibur run also there's issue one issue five lots of really nice covers on excalibur yeah but we definitely got a good quantity of different titles for you guys so yeah, make sure you of, check out that eBay. lots of marvel this is all the marvel we have all the dc and independent has not been organized yet it's still next door so what we're gonna do probably is list all this marvel as you guys can see i have fantastic four that we have to list these are just some really awesome Fantastic Four books. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna end up doing is making a large portion of my money that I invested back with a lot of these Marvel books that we've shown you. And then it will leave me with a lot of the uh, DC and independent books that I will either be able to sell online fairly cheap or that I could sell locally at a show or do something at my own home, like a garage sale or kind of like a convention type of style thing. And it would be very cool, you know, to be able to sell, you know, some free inventory. So hopefully these Marvel books will be able to pay off a lot of what we 
bought when it comes to the other stuff. And for anybody that was wondering, the shelving I use is just some stuff we got out of the garage. I repurposed it. We used to have tools on it, but this is just a heavy duty metal shelf. It kind of perfectly fits the long box. There is a little bit of an overhang, but if you don't fill the long box completely, it's uh, it's pretty good. And for anybody wondering how I keep the books like upright, it's really just a, a book stand like this. I use a bookend and it kind of keeps everything nice, but doesn't keep it like too firm. So there's a little wobble in the books. Coming on down, we'll show you some of the Incredible Hulk Iron Man down here. We have some older Incredible Hulk issues. Nothing super crazy old, but gotta love these classic Incredible Hulk covers. This is issue 355. I got a couple copies of that. Issue 356. So love this Incredible Hulk run. Very happy I was able to complete a lot of this. It's gonna be really nice to be able to throw it on the eBay for everybody. We are trying to actively get on a couple other selling sites right now also. So hopefully we'll have some good news for you guys on that in the upcoming future. Let us know down below though, what you think of our setup. This is our Incredible Hulk stuff. And let us know down below, what do you think the Marvel collection that we're showing you is worth right now? I know you guys haven't been able to see everything thing a lot of these books are mid to high grade some of them are lower grade they've all been found out in the wild like i stated earlier you guys can go to a lot of our videos we've posted in the past so that's the incredible hulk coming on over we got some invincible iron man i got some old copies of invincible iron man there's 138 issue 135 well that's not in order 136 159 coming on down lots of really nice invincible iron man we do have some newer issues there is some of the armor war series in here as you guys will see i've showed you this before in the other video and this is just a whole box of some really nice invincible iron man here's some marvel comics presents really quick we do have issue one and then over here is all the moon knight i picked up from brian the other day some of the really nice issues I managed to get, so that was pretty cool. Over here, I do have some more of the other Mark Spector Moon Knight books. Here is some other nice stuff. And then over here is the New Mutants run we did manage to pick up. Right over here is all the Mighty Thor I have. I don't have anything super old when it comes to Mighty Thor, but you gotta love that older artwork on a lot of these Mighty Thors. This is from the 80s, I believe. Yeah, I we definitely it, got a lot of older stuff, you guys. We got a lot of different titles. Comment down below and let us know which ones are your favorite. But we yeah. should have all these up as soon as we can. There's so many awesome covers on a lot of these books here. That late 80s, early 80s style of comics is some of my favorite. Of course, I love that Silver Age stuff, but can't go wrong with a lot of this mighty Thor. I'm not too familiar with a lot of Thor, so there might be some keys in here. I gotta do a lot of research still on a lot of this before I list it. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm gonna list just single issues or do like bundles of 10 or something, what I'm gonna really do, but this is just the whole box of mighty Thor. Coming on over, we got some really nice Wolverine. Nothing super, super early, but there's issue seven. I don't have any of the one through four mini series. There's issue nine. Lots and lots of duplicates when it comes to the Wolverine, so I'm pretty excited about that. Kazar, we got some Cav Savage Kazar. I got a whole bunch of issues of that. And then I did pick up a bunch of West Coast Avengers. Gotta love West Coast Avengers. These are books that are probably gonna heat up a little bit if they do decide to do the series in the MCU. So this right here is pretty much the majority of all the really nice stuff we have to list. Coming on over, we showed you guys the material and this is the stuff I'm going to be listing once the good stuff behind me is listed. This is all the current inventory we have on the eBay. So if you guys look on our eBay, this is what all the current inventory is. And now we're gonna show you guys some of the cool stuff alrighty so we're gonna show you guys this box right here this is just a box of some of the nicer keys smaller key issues that we have a lot of our other stuff I put next door in the main house and I send the CGC if it's really nice but this is some of the other stuff I'm gonna be listing so if you see anything you like here and it's not listed on the eBay, it should be shortly, but this is a cool book, Spectacular Spider-Man issue 90. We're gonna go kinda quick. I wanna make sure I'm able to get everything in and you guys stay interested. This is three copies I have of Werewolf by Night number one. Cool little book right there that's been heating up a little bit ever since the Moon Knight series came out. There's Moon Knight 29. 
I also have issue 30 and this was a cool purchase I made a while ago for I think it was like $15 a book I got these four out of a lot I got a bunch of copies of Moon Knight issue 3 first appearance of I think the Midnight Midnight Man if I'm not mistaken so those are a bunch of different Moon Knight copies of issue 3 pretty cool pickups right here this is Spider-Man issue 56 I have issue 65 there's issue 69 beautiful 75 I do have issue 90 I have issue 298 here pretty cool book this is the first Eddie Brock Captain America, this is issue three, the first new Falcon, I believe. Amazing Spider-Man 204, this is the third Black Cat. This is the first Puma, first appearance of Weapon X. This is the first um, Dinobots, pretty cool book. This is the first fight between Deadpool and Wolverine, Wolverine issue 88. I got the first um, Solo Morbius story. This is um, Adventure into Fear issue 20. Bunch of cool uh, Strange Tales in here for Doctor Strange, Nick Fury, Doctor Strange, stuff's really starting to get good right now batman and batgirl in detective comics issue 407 spider-man unlimited issue one this is the first uh, i believe this is the first um drawing a blank right now frank miller on daredevil that's what it is tales of suspense on iron man captain america cool book this is still in the poly bag spider-man issue one i got a spawn issue one carrying on with the Todd McFarlane love there's a secret wars issue one that's a pretty cool book right there joker issue seven from his uh, mini series. I have two copies of this book right here, Luke Cage issue 19, and a bunch of these books right here. These are books that I find all the time. So if you guys are able to pick them up, I'll show you. There's one, two, three, four. Oh, that's just randomly thrown in there. There's Amazing Spider Man 328, but then we got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the cool Kang book with all the different Council of Kangs on there. Looks pretty cool. Find these all the time though for cheap. And these are the books that are currently listed some more strange tales really nice books some older 12 cent marvel there's some tales to astonish i have some more spectacular spider-man listed and moon knight lots of really cool moon knight there's some amazing spider-man i did find this out in the wild for 50 cents that was a pretty cool pickup avengers 267 the first council of kings and then i do have a couple of these listed and then this is a pretty cool book also this was the uh, first appearance i believe of young blood yeah young blood issue two i have that with the very cover pretty cool all right that wraps it up for this video we hope you guys enjoyed let us know what you guys think down below but this isn't all of it so stay tuned we still have a bunch of dc and independent stuff we'll be adding along to all of this other stuff but thank you guys so much for watching we hope you enjoyed this video we'll see you in the next one guys like she stated this is not even close to everything this is probably i would say about one third of all the inventory we have we still have a whole bunch of stuff next door that i've been saving up for probably when we're gonna do a show locally hopefully one of these days and then like she said this is just the stuff we're going to be listing on the ebay now once this is all processed through we'll bring some more stuff in and if this video does good we'll show you some of the other stuff we also have some pretty cool news cgc finally started grading some books unfortunately it's nothing super cool that they're grading just some variants i sent out and some newer stuff that i didn't get pressed or cleaned so those will be coming back soon so we should have a cool little cgc unboxing for you and at least the uh train started rolling with that whole process so we could start getting some stuff back but hope you guys enjoyed the video let us know what you think down below we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching bye